Hi everyone, today I'm going to describe a clinical sign called the frog sign. So let us analyze a case step by step. A 48-year-old male presented with complaints of palpitations and breathing difficulty while at a movie theater. There's no past history of any cardiac complaints or syncopal episodes. I would like to now focus on the video of a similar patient. Let's look at what the patient was actually going through. Just look at that. I mean, you can see the prominent neck pulsations, right? You can notice the fluttering of the neck veins occurring in this patient. Now, when we attach this patient to a monitor to see what is going on with the heart of this patient, we can find out the changes in the JVP of the patient. Let me explain what it really means and why this was happening in this patient. The characteristic flapping or bulging appearance of the neck veins is described as the frog sign. You can notice a heart rate of around 200, and you can notice a narrow complex tachycardia with a mild ST segment depression. That mild segment ST depression was primarily present because of global myocardial ischemia, because the heart is going to be beating very fast. Well, guys, the ECG of this guy was showing a very characteristic pattern of PSVT, that is, paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia slash atrioventricular nodal reentrant tachycardia. Let us take a look at the ECG interpretation. Narrow complex tachycardia around 220 beats per minute. No visible P waves. Subtle notching of the terminal QRS in V1, pseudo R wave. Widespread ST depression. This is a common electrocardiographic finding in AVNRT. So we need to analyze. Why was this AV nodal reentrant tachycardia contributing to the development of these prominent neck pulsations? So have a look at the diagram that I've made before you. You will notice that in this diagram, you can see the three blue dots that are the SA node, the AV node and the bundle of his, and the green shows a re-entry circuit. In fact, in patients with paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia, there's a re-entry, right? And this re-entry current is going to cause a simultaneous contraction of the atria and ventricles against closed mitral and tricuspid valves, causing reflux of blood into the neck veins. You can very well see in the diagram that the tricuspid valve is going to be closed, and the power of the two is going to cause this jugular venous column to really, really skyrocket and contribute to a super large A wave that is called the Canon A wave. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like.